know I got it, you know I'm EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the heart of Texas and the very wonderful AT&T Stadium in Arlington. A moment ago, here was the scene with the Cowboys emerging from their tunnel. It was loud. It's still loud. We're ready for football as the Cowboys get set to match up with the Miami Dolphins. Greg Zerline's got it teed up, and off we go from Arlington. Here comes Jalen Waddle from his end zone. He's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. On play action, here's Tua. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well and that one's incomplete. Third play of this opening drive as they're looking at a third and three. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free and it's fourth down. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. down Michael Polardi on to punt. C.D. Lamb deep for the Cowboys. Lamb to return it. That'll be a 43-yard punt, just a single yard on the return. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and ten. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 22. Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And he will fight his way forward to about the 23-yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, partner, I don't think it's any secret that any running back wants to be able to see a hole open so that he can gallop through it. But in this case... He had to slow down. There was really no hole there. And he took a big hit in order to get that one yard. Here's second and nine. Just a yard on that last run. Open man, right side. It's Lamb. 
zero hesitation that time. That was get ball, throw ball. Yeah, turn into a smoke route. If you see the coverage off the receiver, doesn't matter whether you call it a run or not. Just take the ball, get it out to it. On third and one, here's Prescott. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's an 11-yard pickup. Thought they'd run it on third and one. Not the case. I like the play design there. They occupied the defense downfield. Everyone trying to account for someone. But unfortunately, they didn't account for the running back slipping out of the backfield. And he was absolutely unnoticed and wound up getting big yards on that play. Now the Dolphins are going to halt the action here. It's a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Prescott looks to throw on first. Over the middle, hauled in by Lamb. Three yards the game there, second down. Oh, I see you nodding your head along with me, partner, because it's pretty obvious what they were trying to do there on the drag route. With his speed, they're hoping he can turn the corner and maybe take this to the house. But that was excellent work defensively to make sure once he caught it, he wasn't going anywhere. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. They'll let this go for the end zone. And this is dropped. Oh, boy. A chance for a big play early, but he could not secure it. C.D. Lamb, his intended target. And it's third down. Prescott. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. And able to pick up the first across midfield to the 47. That's good for nine yards as they convert on the third down play. I like the screen being called here early in the game, especially on the opening drive, because, Brandon, when guys come out of the locker room, especially those pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback that you can use that against them, and a screen pass is a great way of doing it. A lot of teams against good pass rushing teams, they want to run the screen 10 to 12 times in a game. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 47. They run it for the first time with Tony Pollard. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Now on second and 13, Prescott got an open man. It's Michael Gallup, and he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 36. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Watch tight, tight end right. 
Again to Elliott. A gain of three, second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Second and six. No, scratch that. Second and seven. Play fake. Here's Prescott. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Justin Coleman. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Dolphins touchdown. So a pick six there out of the nickel package. They went with five DBs. Almost becoming the base package in the NFL is the nickel. Hard to throw against. That was demonstrated one more time. A pick six going the other way. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And it's now a 7-0 game. Shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. On the return, Tony Pollard from his end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled it to 15. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, they, good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They just have to be better with the football on this possession. So the last, that didn't bother you too much last time? No, because it's, it's exactly what you're supposed to do. You can't have good field position and not try to take advantage of it. Sometimes the defense makes a good play too. Looking to throw again on second down. Prescott. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. Well, they certainly came out firing in this one, and while that one was incomplete, I can't imagine that'll be the last shot that they take in this game. Complete pass on second down. That muddles things a little bit here. This is third and ten. Here's Prescott. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Justin Coleman, and they will take over at the 26-yard line. And not the first quarter that he was hoping for. Now two interceptions thrown. Well, the good ones, they find a way to compartmentalize, right? Put these behind them, have that short memory, but understand why they threw the two interceptions. They go on and usually play a pretty decent game. Other quarterbacks, they have a hard time getting past it and often put the ball up for grabs the rest of the ball game. They'll run now with Gaskin. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Sometimes being a linebacker in the middle of the field is kind of like being a doctor on the field. you got to make the right diagnosis. Here he correctly sends his run and shoots through to make the play in the backfield.
Gaskin again on second down. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. From the gun, it's Tua. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Gesicki. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down, although it doesn't appear to be by much. He needed four, and he got four on third down. After one, 7 nothing on EA Sports. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Here's Gaskin. He will push his way down to about the 14. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. This is Gaskin on the carry. Trying to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. Sanders kick is good, and the lead moves to 10 zip. So a nice kick there as they are able to add on to their lead. And that's exactly what you're looking to do. Maneuver yourself into range. That way, if your drive stalls out, you're able to get something out of it. And they do so right there. After the field goal, here comes Sanders to kick it away. On the return, Tony Pollard from his end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. To this point, the results have not been good. Two possessions, two turnovers. And that's obviously something that can't continue, but to go a little bit deeper on that one, I would think about some play calls now, not even necessarily to my best player, but to someone I can trust with the ball, try and get things settled down a little bit. No gain on the screen there at second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, 
So they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. I got it. Single receiver, single receiver. Hey, you're on an island over there. Single receiver. Check four, check four. They're not ready for this, man. They're not ready for this. To throw again on second down. Prescott got his man there complete to Gallup. Puts it on the carpet, it's out. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. And his guys are gonna get the football at the 28-yard line. We have seen this before, and we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball, you know there's gonna be some traffic somewhere. They've gotta put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. And to give this time to the tailback. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Now a play fake. Here's Tonga Bailoa. Letting one go deep for the end zone. And this is incomplete. Oh, that looked like a sure six points. But he could not get that to stick. And that is a golden opportunity wasted there. The Dolphins on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and ten. Here's Tua. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. 18 yards there and a first down. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing, but as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. And they'll lose yardage here. They go backwards to the 13-yard line. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. So their task a little bit more difficult now. Second and 13 that they're walking up on. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. And he'll go down. Brought down at the 20-yard line. Neville Gallimore breaking through to get him to the ground. It's a loss of seven. So now after the sack, Tua and the Dolphins staring at a third and long. Looking to pass, Tua. Tua hit, and the ball is out. It's picked up by the Cowboys. Look at this, middle of the field, a breakaway. Pass the 20. And they will finally get him, but not until he's all the way down inside the 15-yard line. And how about the big boys showing off the wheels? Let's face it, anybody who watches a game, even if it goes against your team, when there's a big man with the football, <laughs> everyone locks all eyes, in. All all eyes. Everyone locks in, and the rumbling, you can feel it all the way to the upper reaches of the stands. From the third team now, they work on first and 10. Out of the gun, it's Elliott. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. If they want to start getting back into this game, it behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. Second and seven. Where's your defense? 
From the shotgun, a give to Elliott. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. In danger of squandering their great field position as they come up on a third and seven. Throwing, Prescott. And he's got it. Got his man on the end route. Complete. Yeah, the Cowboys are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll try to run it in with Elliott. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four-yard line. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. From back at the four, here's second and goal. Pollard going to try the right side. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop him right around the one. Give him right around four on the carry. We'll see if they want to keep pounding here on third and goal. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. On the sneak, it's Prescott. Yeah, boy, a good surge defensively. It'll depend on the mark, but I'm not sure he got there. Only a yard on the sneak, not enough. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Cowboys. The sneak successful for the yard out. And the Cowboys' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Well, there was no secret there. They were in goal line formation. They wanted to pound it in on fourth and goal, and they did just that. And how about the challenge? That's a challenge to the offensive line, which they eagerly accept. I haven't met a lineman yet that doesn't want to run the ball more than throw it because they get to fire out and really smack someone. And boy, they got it done. I'm sure they were encouraging them on the side of, let's go and let's run the ball as well. And they put it in for six. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Here comes Jalen Waddle from his end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Dolphins at the line, ready for their next drive. Yeah, last drive, obviously not what you're looking for. You've got the lead. you got to protect the football. So, in other words, someone got lucky because they've been moving the ball really well and wearing them down. In this case, though, giving up the football doesn't make them very happy. They can't wait to get back out there and atone for it. Yeah, try to atone for it here on this drive. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Play action. Now it's Tua. Too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. He was looking for Jalen Waddle there, and it'll bring up third down. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and give the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands.
Out of the gun on third down. Here's Tua. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. It's easy to see when we review this that the ball needs to come out quicker because if you don't throw it right on the break, you bring a crowd of people into the equation. And that's why it got knocked away there. This is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. And this punt goes out of bounds and it'll be marked inside the 40. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And with good starting field position and three timeouts as well in their pocket, no reason not to try and put a late scoring drive together. Off play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. And Prescott, his third interception. Picked off by Eric Rowe. An unfortunate sequence there, trying to get points before intermission, but now the interception, and their opponents have a chance to possibly pad their lead. Yeah, they had an opportunity there, and they weren't able to capitalize on it, and that's something that could come back and haunt them later. They're begging their defense now to keep them from scoring before the half ends. After the turnover, it's Tua. And he's got his tight end, Gesicki, in the end zone. Touchdown, Dolphins. Mike Gesicki in the final seconds of the first half. And the Dolphins are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. And that was a beautiful ball right there as he waited for his tight end to come uncovered in the end zone. So give him points for patience as well. Delivered it right where it needed to be for six points. Sanders on for the extra point. It's good to make it 17-7. So not much time to work with here. Nine seconds remain in the half as this one is away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And with only nine seconds remaining, with well, not much time, we'll see how they play this. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And he'll work this back to right around the line of scrimmage and surrender there. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Both teams making their final preparations for the second half of action. So with that, let's get you back out to Arlington where we rejoin Brandon and Charles. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. It's the Cowboys who get the football first, and they trail here as well as we resume action in the third quarter. On the return, Tony Pollard from his end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one.
The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And they trail here to begin the second half. What's going to be a key for them to get back in the game? I think they're right there, and I think this game is still up for the taking for them because we always talk about turnovers. They had two of them in the first half, and once you start talking about if you have three, four, or five, you know it's beyond difficult to try and win a football game with that. Those have to be eliminated. If they take care of the ball, they've still got a shot. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. On play action, Prescott. He'll fire deep downfield for Lamb. And this is caught right along the sideline. What a job of keeping the toes in bounds there. An excellent gain, 35 yards. this down only to about the 46. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. Only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Again, it's Elliott. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. They wind up losing a couple there, so they go behind the original line of scrimmage. And now third and 11 coming up. Scott. Got an open man, the tight end Jarwin. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down.
conversion. Tenth carry now for Elliott. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Prescott to throw it. He'll get this out wide here to Elliott. Touchdown! Ezekiel Elliott! A 16-yard touchdown. And the Cowboys have cut it to within a score. Getting your back involved, what's the importance there in the passing game? Well, oftentimes you can create mismatches because who's going to cover it? And you get him into space, which is where he likes to operate with the ball in his hands. It oftentimes makes people miss, gets that run after the catch, and off he goes. And into the end zone. Zerline good with a PAT. And the lead is down to a field goal. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Here comes Jalen Waddle from his end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And maybe some renewed pressure on this unit following the touchdown a moment ago. It's back to a one-score game. And because of that pressure, because it's now a one-score game, they know this is where you need to slow the momentum change because otherwise that could overrun your team. You've got to be careful right here. Room to run for Gaskin. And he takes it all the way up to the 47. That good for 22 and a first down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. game working they'll stick with it on first down and he's got this one across midfield into Cowboy territory five yards is the tally on first down that brings up second and five And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. Now, that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy is nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. Now Tua on the bootleg here. And he finds Parker here, complete. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. 
But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. On the handoff, it's Gaskin. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. This drive is turning to an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. The play fake for Gaskin. Now Tua. It's complete to Parker left side. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. The Dolphin passing game rolling here. They've got another first down. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. And he gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. That run didn't get very far. And I think when you're looking at his dimensions, he's a little bit on the smaller side. He's counting on the big guys up front to escort him in. And they couldn't create any kind of space for him, could they? Yeah, didn't get the push they needed. Second down and goal, Tua. And he's got his tight end, Gasicki, in the end zone. Touchdown, Dolphins. Mike Gasicki, a beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Dolphins are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. On the return, Tony Pollard from his end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They did what they had to do to start this third quarter. Went down, got the touchdown to cut the lead, but the matching touchdown a moment ago, and we're right back where we started at halftime. Yeah, you're exactly right, partner. They had a little bounce in their step after scoring that first touchdown, but the defense gave one up, and that's the problem right now. Can they get better play from their defense while they continue to score on offense? Second and nine, Prescott able to hit his target, Lamb. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Prescott and Lamb hooking up for the Cowboy first. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple of scores, and they've really got to get some yards in chunks, and they know the defense doesn't want to give those up, but they've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, can they string a few of those together? A first down throw for Prescott. He'll fire deep downfield for Lamb. They've got his man complete. And they're going to get this all the way inside the Miami 15. 
But Dak Prescott, probably not the first name you think of in terms of strongest arms in the NFL, but he showed it off there. And what was amazing to me was the fact he was able to get as much on the ball as he did because he was on the run. Normally, when you're on the move like that, you don't expect the ball to go that far. You would think you need your lower body to be involved. That was an all-arm throw. A first down carry by Elliott. And he'll get about three just outside the 10, stopped at the 11. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That was a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Now a give right side. Pollard. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Nine yards on the play there, and it sets him up first and goal. So a decent deficit at this stage in the second half. Four down territory? No doubt about it. There's not a chance that he hasn't looked ahead and said, okay, if we gain yardage on this play, this is what we'll do going forward. If we lose yardage, this is the play call that I'll have ready. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Elliott. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. Again, it's Elliott. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. It'll go as no gain on the play, and now they're looking at a third and goal. Well, sometimes I get caught in hyperbole, but I think they desperately need to punch this one in. They're running out of time. Yeah, two-score game, second half. You're down here. This is the time to put it in the end zone. And not going to get much better than this for an opportunity. It's a keeper with Prescott. So call that no gain on the sneak, and now there's still a yard short here on fourth. I know this is your spot, partner, so forgive me for jumping in, but there's no decision right here. They have to go for it in this situation. They're down on the scoreboard. How many other opportunities are you going to get? Yeah, I'm with you. Fourth quarter, like you said, down on the scoreboard. And remember here, a field goal virtually does them no good. Well, he was a spectator for much of this game. This is his first field goal opportunity of the entire contest, but he's able to connect. Yeah, he had a pretty good seat to this one, didn't he? But let's face it, all kickers that you and I know, they want to contribute, they want their opportunity, and he seized his. Half of the main field goal, Zerline back out there now to send this one away. Here comes Jalen Waddle from his end zone. Waddle is going to elect to not bring this out, and instead his guys will begin at the 25-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They're holding on right now to that slim advantage in a one-score game. And you hear a lot about two-minute offense and four-minute offense. Obviously, the four-minute offense applies here. How do they run that effectively? Yeah, really what the four-minute offense is is you're just trying to grind the clock. So you want consistent gains, steady gains. Doesn't have to be big plays, but it has to be plays that gets first downs and keeps the ball away from your opponent. But certainly throwing the ball is in the mix here. It certainly is. Just make sure that you're careful with it. And again, get those first downs, keep possession of the football. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Another run with Gaskin. Room to run for Gaskin. And he's going to get this to the 40-yard line. 68 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. Well, they didn't accomplish their goal. They didn't get a stop there. Gave up another first down. They have all three timeouts in their pocket. I think defensively, you've got to start thinking about using them here. I was just going to ask you at what point you think now's the go time? I think now's the go time. I don't think you sit back and wait because they can take a lot of time off the clock between plays and run three to four and really put you in a stressful spot. Check, check, check. 
They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. It's a pickup of 12. Second play in a row with a 12-yard gain. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. And now, defensively, they're going to burn their first time out. Remember, they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly at the two-minute warning. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. From midfield, here's Tua. This one complete to Jalen Waddell. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 31-yard line. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes. And we've got a one-score game. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. They've got a first and 10 as they look to try and finish this one off. Now they'll run it on the toss. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 154 left as they call the timeout defensively. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. At the 17-yard line. play gets blown up they'll lose yardage back at the 17 it's a loss of a yard so it's back to third and ten now obviously that's some good work there defensively being able to stop them and bring up a key third down but if you're on the offensive side of the ball there's an opportunity because i know what defensive guys are thinking right now to stop them get to the ball that means they might not be sound defensively there could be some opportunities and you said key third down highlight that word put it in bold here we go An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. Tongue of Iloa looking to throw it. Toward the sideline. Did he keep the feet in? Yes, he got them both down, says the side judge. And that's good enough for a first down. Twelve yards on third down as the drive rolls on. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. Going to give this time to the tailback. And he's across for the touchdown. And in the final minute, that should just about seal it. And he was excellent on that drive. He deserved to be the one to get across the chalk. Oh, I agree with you totally. A workhorse on the drive. And how about that last decisive run to punch it in?
Sanders now to add the extra point. And the lead is up to 14. Makes the score Dolphins 31, Cowboys 17. Jason Sanders to kick off for Miami. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. On the return, Tony Pollard from his end zone. This one will come out to the 25 as Pollard is going to elect not to return it. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder. It puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. He's got Elliott, and this is not going to be what they needed. They get a few here, but now third down as the clock runs. Now Prescott. Now a desperation throw deep downfield, and that will be incomplete as time has run out on this football game. Well, Charles, it's great to win at home in the NFL. When you win on the road, it's a little extra special, isn't it? It is because, let's face it, in most cases, you're not expected to go on the road and win in the National Football League. It just doesn't usually compute. So to get out there, get that done, and then head back to your seat,